let's talk about the concept of what auto peep is. Auto meaning it's happening automatically. No one is doing this. It's also called intrinsic peep. And peep, P-E-E-P, -E -E is positive and expiratory pressure. So auto peep occurs when someone is being mechanically ventilated and they're having positive pressure ventilation. And the concept of it is that there is positive uh, pressure remaining in the alveoli at the end of expiration. So auto peep is a result of air trapping in these alveoli. And this is typically a consequence of usually something going wrong with the mechanics of the ventilator. So either the patient is asynchronous with the ventilator, meaning their breaths aren't aligning with the way that the machine is ventilating for them. Their respiratory rate may be too high, but ultimately the issue is there's not enough time for expiration to allow all of that positive pressure to be released from the alveoli. So there's a lot of consequences that come with this. Usually it causes more increased work of breathing, difficulty weaning patients from the vent. Uh, patients just look more uncomfortable when this is happening. But the more severe things that can happen are barotrauma or trauma to the lungs from that increased amount of positive pressure in the lungs, as well as hemodynamic consequences because you're basically having more intrathoracic pressure, which then reduces how much blood flow can come back to the heart and can cause low blood pressures or hypotension. So you can recognize auto peep just by looking at the flow curves on the ventilator. And if you're looking at the expiratory curve, if it doesn't go back to the baseline, then and you're starting to see inhalation before that line comes back to the baseline, then that can be a sign of air trapping. Another bedside maneuver that you can do is called an end expiratory hold, where you basically hold the pressure that's occurring at the end of an expiration. And if the pressure that you see is greater than the peep that you've dialed in into the ventilator itself, then that can be indicative that they're holding some positive pressure in their alveoli and having air trapping. So one of the most important things to do is recognize this first, and then you can intervene upon it. So now that you've recognized it, if your patient is having dyssynchrony with the vent, meaning they're breathing over it or they're just stacking breaths on top of the delivered breaths that you're getting, the best way to handle this is by increasing the sedation, usually with something like propofol or giving boluses of opiates like fentanyl or dilated, can help bring down their own intrinsic respiratory rate. They're totally dependent on the ventilator and you're just making changes to the ventilator itself. The best things you could do are decrease the respiratory rates or you could try and decrease the tidal volume to see if this helps or you can increase the expiratory time, which would mean you need to decrease the inspiratory time. And you can usually compensate this by increasing the flows during the inspiratory time. And then by increasing your expiratory time, there's more time allowed for that air to leave the alveoli and therefore hopefully getting rid of that positive pressure that remains.